guys and welcome back today we have got surprise surprise more doctor who but today we actually have a playset to take a look at um and this is from the pyramids of mars so this i'm actually kind of excited about but at the same time i feel like i'm gonna be a little bit disappointed by um i don't know i just don't have a lot of this so this is the priori collector set um it comes with the uh, um, Osiron War Rocket. It comes with uh, Mast Sutek, uh, Marcus Scarman, sarcoph the sarcophagus, two canopic jars, a uh, coordinate selector, and the 3D build up card war rocket. So we're going to go ahead and bust this bad boy open and take a nice look at what we do have here. Because that looks exciting. I wish they would have thrown in some of the mummies. Because I'm finding those a little bit hard to find. And obviously you're going to need them. So let's go ahead and take a look. Right, so right out of the packaging we have got our two figures of Sutek and him here. We have got our accessories, our sarcophagus. Um, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Little Velcro, double-sided Velcro thing for something or another. Our backside of the sarcophagus, and we have got, our, of course, our fuel canisters. So, moving on to this, um, it's just cardboard. Ooh, let down a little bit by that. Um, I wanted even just like cheap plastic, like little panels to do things with, but this is this is just straight cardboard. I mean, you could just print this out at home. Um, Assuming that. And there's no instructions on anything either on how to put any of this together, but it does look fairly self explanatory. Like, I believe that this will be our ramp. So, if we just want to slide that fucker in there, doing this one handed sucks. Um, yeah. What we are going to do is just pull everything out, set this up. Uh, actually, I'll go over how I figure out how to set this up. But we'll pull all these guys out. Yeah, well, we'll just do this first. We'll just do this first. Um, this is one solid piece. No, I say solid, but not sure which way they want us to put this. I'm, just, I'm assuming they want it this way. How do they have that there? I believe they have this. I'm going to take a minute to figure out what they got going on here. Alright, so what we have here is the inside of the rocket. And if you bend this all out, you can see that this is that front door panel. As you can see there, that's going to be going on this side facing out as I flick you all off to show you. Um, best way that up with to figure out how to do this is to just take this. Um, you're going to want to piece these pieces together first. Make sure that you got that hole open there. Um, I did have to cut open that hole a little bit. Um, it was kind of stuck together. Not really, but kind of. You just want to fold these into place here. Oof. I don't like this at all. I would much rather have had just like three little plastic panels that like, you know, click and snap together. Would have made this such a better place at, especially for the money uh, especially being in the u.s like this was a disappointment because obviously any u.s anybody there in the u.s um looking at this knows doctor who stuff is expensive in the u.s like there's no if ands or buts about it there's no really getting around it things are pricey especially with that customs charge lately it's hard getting stuff this is just I don't like this but we want to see it there we go, got that piece in this piece in there I feel like that looks so gaudy now all right so they want you to pull back this flap here and it does have a crease on it so you know which piece you are bending back. Um, then you're just going to slide all these parts 
into their respective slots. Try to get them all in there at once before you start sliding anything down. This is not fun, I'll tell you what. I'm not, not mad about how it ends up coming out. As you can it doesn't look terrible. But if this was all made out of just like even like just a cheap plastic, like it would have looked so much better. Like and we don't even got things all the way down in there. And I mean, you can go in the bottom here and you can you know bend everything up and put them where you want them i was really hoping for like a plastic not a cardboard like and i just feel so let down right now i feel very let down right now all right so now we have got all of our things out of here so we have got Sarcophagus, urns, Sutek, and we have got our Marcus Garmin with that, uh, whatchamacallit, coordinate uh, selector. Now, the thing that I really like about the Sutek, you got a button in the back of the head for the eyes. That is a really nice feature. It's just right there. Nice easy press button. thing I do not like about him is that he's got legs. And with the way that his robe is, it would have made more sense to not have the legs. Because the legs stick out a little bit farther than the robe goes down. So he's kind of hard to stand. Uh, I think it would have made more sense just to have him be standing on like the base of his robes there you know and make like the bottom of that hollow um i did a review on a maleficent figure and she was hollowed out on the bottom which you know didn't give you room to like play around with like her uh you know the like, gown or anything like that but she you know stood <laughs> plain and simple she stood um i feel like the detail on this guy is so superb Especially after just reviewing that second Doctor figure and the way they did the face on him. If we look at his face, like, he's got such definition to his face. Like, his facial features are all there. Like, I feel like this is the best part of this entire set. And, like, honestly, like, I was more excited for Sutek. You know, and, like, at this point, I'm just looking at this guy. Like, this guy's awesome. Like, they got a great sculpt. They got a great, like, everything for him. And, like, I feel like it's one of the better figures that Character Options has actually done. Like, he's just... Look at that mean mug face. Like, how can you not, like, you know, absolutely love and hate that face? Like, he's such a villain. He's got such a villain face. And, like, he's just great. <clears throat> now, we do come with these little Velcro bits. And I'm not 100% sure what they want you to put that on. They wanted you to put them on the bottom of this or, you know, whatever. Like I said, it didn't come with any instructions. Um, I was thinking for a minute that it might be this. But it actually collapses together and everything. So you got that uh, corridor there, portal and everything. And that is very nice because it is kind of like a, as you can see, like a holographic foil kind of thing. Like, so twisting it around you get that whole visual spectrum effect and everything and that is really really cool now the only thing i don't like about this being a you know the set i mean it would have made sense to come with some mummies fourth doctor maybe him some fuel canisters like you know like this right here was a good set Throwing this in there, I love it, but at the same time, like, this does not go with this. So, like, 
I mean, this is just like accessories to build uh, if you're making a pyramids of Mars. Like, you know, like if you're literally doing like the whole house and the yard and everything, like that's cool. That's cool to have. I really appreciate having that. But it just doesn't make sense when you fit it in with like the what the, the main part of the set is here and everything. And I feel like they focused more on the accessories and uh, the figures than they did on the playset aspect of things, um, which isn't a bad thing. And then like, look, these figures don't even really go in there. But you know, I don't know. Let's take a look at height. So we have got that about five and a quarter to five and a half inch there for Scarman. And then we have got that about six and a half to the tip of his beady little bead. So, and this thing stands right at six. Right there at six. Uh, in case you were wondering, these things are just shy of two inches, like an inch and three quarters. Um, this whole playset from base to top stands uh, about a foot. Yeah, 11 and a half inches to, to a foot. Um, and then, in case you're really wondering about measurements for things, this is about two inches on the dot. So if we're going to go over articulation, let's start with Sutek. We do have head movement, and he's got kind of like a little bit of a neck wobble there. Um, of course, we already talked about the eyes. We do have up and down on the arms, which is rare for a character options figure, I feel. Um, then we got elbow. We can go in and out with that. We've got wrist twist. And we've got waist twist. And then I have no idea about with the legs. Like they do move back and forth. I don't know if there's a... Yep, there is. There is a knee joint on these legs in here. Um, you're not going to be able to see or do anything with these legs. They are up in there. And whatever way you can end up getting him to stand is pretty much the way you're going to get him to stand and he's probably going to lean onto his robe. Now moving on to Scarface, we have got his arm, standard, up, down. We've got that twist there at the um, forearm, bicep, whatever, elbow, wrist. We do got head articulation. We got waist. We got twist at the top of the leg, top calf, ankle, not ankle, uh, knee, sorry, but that's it. We're not doing anything crazy, we're not getting him to do splits or anything. Actually, we might be able to, but not with that coat, but yeah. I like this figure a lot just because of the immense detail they put into it. I feel like this is like one of the most detailed things they have done. And it disappoints me that they threw it in this collector set, like this high detailed little figure that they did did here and everything. And it's like, you're kind of buying the set for this figure at this point now. Like, this is the redeeming quality for me. Because, I mean, you if you're good at messing around with like cardboard and everything, a lot of people do make like dioramas out of cardboard and they do a wonderful, magnificent job. But like, this is just a mess to me. I'm not one to work around with a lot of cardboard either though so i mean maybe you can get yours to look better than mine and maybe you're happy with yours but i think i would rather have just paid somebody to 3d print me off like three walls here and a base like <laughs> but thank you guys so this was the pyramids of mars priori collectors set thank you